Welcome back to ESA Summer 21. We are raising money for Save the Children. Links to donate can be found below the stream or by typing exclamation mark donate into the chat. We would also like to thank Twitch and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. And now it's time for Green Ferret running Muppet Race Mania. Take it away. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Green Ferret. I'm joined by my co-commentators, um, Zivaleep and Big Haircut. Say hello, guys. Hey, hey. How do you bloody do? Right, well, um, I'm just going to jump right in. We're going to try and explain things as we go. So, timer starts when I click OK on Haunted House. I'm going to do that in three, two, one, start. So, um, we start where any good speedrun starts in the end. These are the post-credit levels. Um, and they're from this perspective, their overhead perspective. So we're going to be doing that for a wee bit. We also start not a race. Uh, we're starting in a in a battle. Mm, it's um, a very very different, uh, very different sort of deal. This run, this run is an all tracks run, so it's every single track in the game. And there's a lot more tracks in this game than just racing. There are. There are three different types of tracks. There are um, there are battles, races, and stunt tracks. You'll see all three of those types. But we are doing the end ones, which are overhead. Yeah, and they're much more difficult than the rest, um, which is why I usually try to do them first. So, you know, minimize on resets. So we're really subverting all expectations here with uh, a kart racing game by doing the complete opposite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Likes to keep you on your toes. So we should explain... So what what are these little doobly-doos that you're collecting? What are these fruits, some might say? <laughs> it's controversial to call them fruits in the community, but we do it anyway. Um, <laughs> so the fruit that you'll see in the top right corner, there's a beaker filling up. And once it's full like that, I can go out and I can use my special, which immobilizes the other racers in a fun and unique way, which is different per... Um, Per character, I have chosen to run as Dr. Teeth because it immobilizes the other racers completely, makes it a bit easier to bash into them in this demolition derby style um, battle mode. Please mm. forgot the word there. Uh, the stars, if you haven't guessed already, are the um, weapons similar to. Oh. So, sort of similar to, I mean, a lot of people probably haven't played this game, but it's a small little indie game, Mario Kart. Mm, I have heard of that. I hear it's coming up later as well. Oh, really? Mm. Okay, I'm, I'm surprised mm. somebody's running that, to be honest. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was the first battle. We are now on the second battle. This is Volcano. Volcano, is, uh, by far my least battle, my least favorite battle, rather. Um, there is a lot of fruit on this level, which means the chances of me being special, like that, are very high. Um, and that's going to be happening a lot. Mm. Um, it, it can also happen in the races. All these mechanics are also present in the races. Um, so it costs about five seconds per special. Ugh. Oh, this is but you can, oh, another one. <laughs> you can sacrifice some of your boost to get out of it early. I'm not doing that at the moment because, well, I need all the boost I can get so I can special everyone I'm running against. Also, fun fact, you can jump in this game. There's no drifting uh, like most kart racers, but you can jump directly in the air. Wait, it's hard to tell from this perspective. When we get a different map, we'll be able to see it better. But um, yeah, you can jump, which adds some interesting elements to some of the levels. In particular, the stunt levels, which are sort of precision platforming levels in a go-kart. This is a lot of specials. Yeah, my oh, lord. My goodness. Like, you're more, getting, far more than average. You're getting uh, rinsed by these NPCs. What did you do to them? I don't know. Like, <laughs> well, as I've said before, these end levels are notoriously difficult. If we're including your specials, I think that's... Uh, I think this is now up to 10 specials, and, Already. uh, yeah, we're only a couple of minutes into the run. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what other one? <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. Oh my lord. I love it. I love it. Only in a marathon run, you know? This is, this is always where it happens. Just remember Mar that you're, you're doing it for the kids. Don't, it's for the kids. For the kids. <laughs> you hear that, kids? <laughs> this is, this is for 
these, <laughs> these specials are for you. <laughs> so, um, I mean, just while just while we're taking our time here, uh, being chased down by animal, is there other mechanics that we should try and explain? Um, well, we could explain in, the you see here types. in the middle. This is a little teleporter, which is fun. While you're in the teleporter, you're actually immune to specials, which just happened. That's what that horn sound is. Ooh, cheeky. Um, so it's Ooh. good to be immune to them, although it does usually also mean that you cannot um, activate your special. You can't have two active specials at the same time. Oh, this is, no, cut me off, right? This might be too deep knowledge, right? But okay. no, there's, there's a fun piece of trivia. When you are being specialed, you can use your own special juice in that beaker to exit out quicker. Yes. But you can't, you can't do that in all versions of the game, right? Um, no. Uh, you can't, you're, you're correct. Um, we run the American version of the game, the NTSC version. Um, the PAL version is completely different and is a bit more broken. There's a lot of cool and interesting glitches that you can actually do in that version that are unavailable in this one, but um, it's just generally slower. Um, again, similar to Mario Kart, where um, uh, the timing is different, so no sort of... Um, no glitches that we found have ever been beneficial in a longer run yet. Yet. That might well change. Okay, mm. extra. that's fair, that's fair. What is your strategy here? So, as with all the battles, pretty much all I want to do is collect, avoid them as much as possible, because losing a battle, all tracks, by the way, you have to win all tracks, and losing battles is, is pretty easy to do. The battles are hard. Like, I'm being bullied right now. Um, and so, for the most part, we just try to avoid as many of them as possible, collect as much boost as possible so you can special, um, and you can try and take people out. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much what, what we're doing. Um, this level, actually, is modeled after one of the other in-game levels. Um, like, not post-credit, normal view, like, uh, over-the-shoulder view. Levels um, called Laboratory. Yes, I believe Laboratory. It's very similar, only a few changes. Yeah, Ooh. Uh, but it is not the same music. This is the music for the Muppet Lab stunt level. Uh, that's a yeah. that's a bit of trivia. Uh, make sure to remember that for the pop quiz at the very end. Um, <laughs> If I may uh, interrupt quickly, uh, how many battles are there yet to come? Um, there will be another seven battles after this one, but not immediately. Next up, I'm going to be doing some races. There'll be three races after this. Okay, so, uh, Chad, how about a little challenge for you? Can we get to the $55,000 mark? before the three races that come after this battle are over. Ooh. Let's see it done. Let's do it. Let's Excellent. go. Let's yeah. Do it. Ooh, they're hiding under that little... It's, it's a bit of a design flaw, I think, that um, all these overhead levels have places where you cannot see your character. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, it's fine in the races, but like in the battles, this yeah, is in the battles. kind of ridiculous. <laughs> No, that, that just separates the men from the boys. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we have Speedway, the first of the overhead races that I'm going to be doing. Uh, this race actually has a cool little feature. You can see Sam the Eagle there in the plane, the blue guy, has actually started on a piece of fruit, which means he just gets bonus fruit at the start of the level. Um, could, Zeev, can you explain the starting boost game? which I think is pretty, uh, it's pretty cool feature. Oh yeah, it's a very cool feature. So in a lot of kart racing games, you will like, you know, there'll be the starting line and there'll be like three red lights or something before you go. And Mario Kart and other kart races, you will press a button just before the last light goes uh, in order to get an extra boost. In this game, it operates a lot more like Simon Says. So there will be the face buttons for the PlayStation 1 showing up on the screen and uh, the highlighted button you have to press as quick as you can. Uh, pressing it will give you one uh, one boost, but if you press it fast, you'll get two boosts and you have to do that uh, as quick as you can for five seconds. And after that, you get a certain amount of boost. 
Mm -hmm. um, as you can see here, if you do miss input, you lose one boost, but, um, you know, that's just off your starting boost total. And, uh, yeah, it's very, uh, it's very interesting, it's very weird. I think the highest that we've ever been able to get, uh, in starting boost for this game is... Ooh, damn. Um, uh, right? Uh, well, we've never gotten to 30. 28 is the highest that we've ever been able to get. I think the highest I've done is 26. My reactions aren't great. So, um... This is one of probably the most difficult race in the game, just in terms of winning. Because as you can see, I, I hold the world record, the IL world record on this level, and I'm barely winning. Um, it's very difficult. So, part of what we do is what I've done now, which is the star boost. Um, we use it sometimes. It's not always the fastest way to do it, especially if there's glitches or shortcuts involved, but it does make you immune to specials. So there's some levels that we do it basically just to help with the RNG factor. Right, on to, this is the last race in the end. This is Glacier. So, um... Overhead level. Yeah. Yeah. After it's... this, we go back to a normal sort of camera. Until we get to stunts, and then it's a little different. But, you know, for the most part, a normal camera. So, um, another fun, fairly recent discovery we had about the ice mechanics in this game is that... So... Uh, Zeev, you'll be able to explain this better than me. All cars have different top speeds. However, when they are boosting, as I'm doing now, you see I can give up a little bit of my boost in the beaker to just give myself a little boost. They all have the same maximum speed while boosting. And you can sort of maintain that maximum level of boost by using the ice, like the sort of slippy ice mechanics. We call it tap boosting. Um, there's a couple of places it's useful, but this is by far the most useful place to use it because the entire level is ice. Yeah, you pretty much uh, got the nail on the head there. That's uh, basically exactly it, yeah. Uh, but yeah, tap boosting allows you to maintain your speed because of how little traction and grip there is on the terrain. Uh, so, yeah. Going for Do another... we have time for a donation or two because they have been piling up a bit? Uh, yes, absolutely, we do. There's a little bit of menuing after this, so nothing exciting is going to happen for a while. So please go ahead. Wonderful. Uh, we do have $35 from Zombie Bait without a message, but thank you very much. We have $50 from Mac uh, Redrum saying another year, another ESA summer. Always fun to watch. Let's go over that uh, 30, uh, that 60k dollars. And we have $30 from Dark Wolf from the French Restream saying for the children. And yes, this is all for the children. So if you want to help out, please donate. Even as little as $5 will help a great amount. So please, if you have anything left, come and donate. It's for a really good cause. All right, thank you so much. So now we're back to our regularly scheduled programming, the normal camera. Still not racist though. Um, this is the first of the battle league, uh, battle league battles. So there are three tournaments in this game: League A, League B, both um, race, race leagues, and then there is this battle league, which is the six main battles in the game. Uh, we use the battle league instead of selecting. Um, oh, you can see the jump arrow now, yeah. Instead of just selecting the levels individually, saves a bit of time with menuing. The only risk, though, is if you lose a battle, we have to quit out of the battle league and then go and select level individually. Um, so, hopefully, I've been practicing my battles. Uh, hopefully, we don't lose any. It can happen, though. Because um, currently, we don't really have any strategies. There's no speed strategies to win the battles. It's just get good basically get good. <laughs> yeah, i know it, it, it seems ridiculous when we get to the races and the stunts there's plenty of speedrun strats that i'm i'm quite excited to show off but um for these battles yeah just go for it basically hey green ferret why don't you show the people what they really want show them that hop show them that hop one more time show, show them the hop show uh, them the for hop. the kids it's for the kids hop. there you go go <laughs> that right. is beautiful uh, you can see a bit clearer, clearer now. Um, some of the characters will be like smoking. <laughs> like you'll see the black mm -hmm. stuff coming out of them, which basically means that they're on low health. It means they're at least 
well, at most 200 health away from being knocked out. Um, you have a thousand health per, per battle. Um, and each weapon is 100. So, if you see someone who's sort of, I usually call it spluttering. Uh, I don't know what else to call it other than low health, I guess. But when you see that, that means I can just get two weapons and I can just knock them out straight away. And you can Goomba people as well, right? We can Goomba people. <laughs> so, um, Goombaing people, as you may have guessed, is jumping on their heads, uh, which also does exactly 100 damage. Uh, obviously, easier to do it to the smaller characters. So, again, there's a bit of RNG in which characters you go up against. Um, but I've got, like, Pepe, who's quite short. Ooh. Which is good. Get Goombaed. Get Goombaed. Sometimes <laughs> I'm going to get Goombaed a lot as well. Oh no, I'm very low health. So I'm going to try and stay away from everybody as much as I can. Collect a bit of boost. And every so often I can hear the chickens. So yeah, um, Zeep, can you do a bit of explaining with the, what the different weapons do? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try hard a bit just now to make sure I don't get knocked out. Very, very fair. Ooh, so, uh, there are four main weapons in the game. Uh, the weapons uh, which you collect in the stars, the weapons are the fish, the chicken, the bomb, and the penguin. Uh, the fish, chicken, and bomb all shoot forwards, whereas the penguin shoots backwards. Uh, they all deal the same amount of damage, but, you know. Ooh, that's a, that's a bit of a shame right there. Uh, that's so, all right, though. now we have to quit out. Go to select courses, and now we're going to have to do this for the remainder of the battles, because I can't just jump into the Battle League halfway through, unfortunately. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, as I've said before, there's no real speedrun strats for the battles, and I, I, even as someone who holds, like, I think I hold most of the battle records, I think maybe all but one, even I lose them. Like, this is, it's a children's game, but it is very difficult. <laughs> Yeah, they were they were not kidding when they made this game. Uh, <laughs> not kidding. <laughs> they were not. You were yeah, dead I'm not even just talking about uh, the fact that it's a Muppets game. Uh, so, <laughs> but yeah, so there are four main weapons in the game, uh, and I say main weapons because you can also jump on people's heads, and I'd I'd classify that as a weapon. And then you've got your special attack, which is some weird as weapon. So. Uh, but we, there are four main weapons which you pick up from stars. Um, the fish is a straight line projectile where you shoot it forwards and it'll explode on the first thing that it hits. Uh, so a wall or a muppet, anything like that, it'll explode. A chicken in races will uh, home in on the nearest target. But I say home in, I mean really badly home in. Uh, yeah, it, it sort of roughly follows like a line of best fit for you know, the sort of optimum route, but it varies a little bit. Mm, exactly. There we go. Hey, nice. That's what you like to see. Mama. That was really fast as well. Mm -hmm. That was a good, that was a good Trafalgar Square. Um, did we get through all the weapons? Sorry, I interrupted you there. Ah, that's all good. Uh, in, in battles, it won't uh, home in on enemies, but it will bounce off walls. Like, it'll be slower than a bomb, which the bomb is the next weapon I'll talk about. Uh, the bomb, it will shoot uh, in an upward direction, like in an upward forward direction, but uh, it's still mainly just forwards. And uh, it will bounce off walls, so you can pull off some pretty insane trick shots with it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's also one of my favorite things uh, ever to do with a bomb is to drive in a very cramped hallway and then hey. fire one off immediately into a wall. Um, hey, nice. <laughs> um, and then there is the penguin, which just shoots behind you. It's sort of like a like a banana peel in Mario Kart. We're going to use a lot of Mario Kart analogies. Uh, it's just, it's just the go-to kart racer that people know about, isn't it? Exactly. Like if For Nicktoons move. Racing For now. was... <laughs> <laughs> If Nicktoons Racing was the most common kart racer, we'd be referring to that. But, uh... <laughs> Ooh. That Ooh. is a special. Ooh. So, um... Each special model after... Um... The other... Like, each character has their own special. Roughly related to... Them. Some are completely immobilized. Some just slow you down. 
Um, that was cells, just some bananas. Um, Pepe, for monk. example, just mm. makes you short. Just makes you small, but you get to move. Yeah. Um, if there are any more donations, now would be a good time. I'm basically just having to hunt down this last person. Oh, wonderful, because we do have them keeping piling up. We have a $25 from Dimitru saying, Hey ESA, greetings from the Russian Restream community. Thanks a lot for letting us see this great event this time. Good luck and have fun. We have a $50 from Joey Mac saying, Donating for the uh, from the great state of Texas. Thank you for a great marathon supporting a great cause. And we have a whopping $250 from Ooh. Anonymous saying, Ooh. Fine, I'll donate. Thank nice. you very much for that. All of your donations, even the ones that I've not read yet, but I will come to those later, um, have put us currently at 54,912, just 88 more dollars wow. for the 55k. Uh, Come on, cool. people, amazing. we can get there. We can definitely get there. That's amazing. It's Ooh. great to be part of such a good cause. So, uh, this is Chamber. This is a notoriously difficult level as well. I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot with the battles. Um, it's very large, there's a lot of places to run, and it's hard, as I said previously, we like to just sort of hide for the most part in the longer speedruns um, in battle modes, just hide and get through, and there's not a lot of easy ways to do that in this level. You have to sort of hang around at the top there, or down at the bottom here, but it can be quite risky. Um, so this, this, this run will usually take a while. Yes, um, something very interesting, which I don't think we've pointed out uh, about these levels, and that's because we've been mainly doing the end levels, uh, is all of the levels, all the uh, main levels in this game, are all influenced by uh, six different uh, Muppet movies uh, that were released at the time that this game was released. So all the levels are influenced on that. So the movies that they influenced by are uh, the Muppet movie, like so the original Muppet movie, uh, The Great Muppet Caper, Muppets Take Manhattan, A Muppet Christmas Carol, uh, Muppets Treasure Island, and Muppets from Space. And uh, we can all debate who, which one is the best one, uh, but I, that one... I, I think we all know the answer. I'm not going to say yeah. it, but I, I think we all know it. <laughs> I, think we, I think we do all know it. Yeah, and I, I think it would divide us as a community, so let's just keep it to ourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll be able to see that briefly when I am switching between levels. I have to select which movie I would like to play, and then the level within it. Oh yeah, I actually entirely forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> that is very, very true. But yeah, this level is a very large level. I think it's the largest battle level in the game. Um, I think so, yeah. And yeah, it because of how weird the food placement is in this level, uh, it's just hard to build up uh, enough food to get special attacks uh, without running into other enemies. So, unfortunately, uh, the level just ends up being very long. And it also is one of the levels where bosses are just more annoying as well, so... Oh yeah, that's a fun fact about this game. Yes, this kart racer has boss levels, where you have to beat um, different themed bosses in each of the battle modes. Um, it's a lot of fun, and again, for a kid's game, very difficult. I, I couldn't beat a lot of them when I was younger. Definitely the, one of the harder parts of the game, like... Um, Definitely. You know, for like, you go. for like the battle mode being probably the hardest part of the game, and then having this extra challenge of beating bosses. Uh, I think there is a category for it, which is a lot of fun, all bosses. And one of the former world record holders was noted as saying that um, it's difficult to be good at, is how he phrased it, and I couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to be good at the boss fights. But uh, yes, this is Lagoon. This is a much smaller battle level. Uh, something that uh, I don't like about this level is the fact that it is a very round level. 
uh, which ruins my normal strategy in battle levels uh, of just shooting weapons off walls. Uh, <laughs> that's usually my strategy when it comes to this game, and uh, you can't really do that in this level because you, you shoot it out off a wall, hoping it'll bounce directly back at you, and it just flies off uh, to nowhere. Ooh! Also, <laughs> good little, good little string of goombas. Get goomba. Got in there. Hey, yeah, I ran right into that thing. Didn't right. bother at all. Hey, that's what um, we like to see. So, for those for those who are listening out, and I would recommend that you do, the music in this game was written by like the actual original Muppet um, music writer, composer. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, and some of the songs in this, everyone in the community has like a favorite they pick out. I swap through a lot. I would change mine, but honestly, the music is phenomenal in this game. Very, very underrated in terms of um, video game soundtracks, I'd say. Very underrated oh, game, absolutely. I'd say. It is excellent. I've added it to my jogging playlist. Nice, very good. And it added oh, an extra yeah. 5k. Wow, did I hear that? <laughs> so now I can run 25k. Unbelievable. Nice. <laughs> I can run 25k. <laughs> <laughs> um... So yeah, this is the level that was similar to the whatever level, the one that we had in the end, back at the start. Um, very similar method, I'm just going to go around the outside, collect lots of fruit, uh, use my special and fire at these guys. So um, I would say if there's more donations, um, go for it now. Oh, do we have donations? We have $15 from Trouble2 without a comment, but thank you very much indeed. We have $20 from a Blind PK saying, have seen some of the great runs this week. Gotta reach that 55,000. Thanks to EZA and all the great runners. And we have Mr. Psycho donating $5 and saying a $5 train to get to 55, 555. Five <laughs> fives, that sounds like a good idea. Can we get that by the end of the run? Oh, no, that no, would no. be awesome. So please keep those donations coming so I will have much to read whenever there's time for that. Um, thank you very much. I got very lucky there um, to not lose this battle, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing it safe again. I'm gonna be hiding up here for a while. There, it oh. is possible to sort of cheese all the levels, I'm gonna say, all the battle levels. There's always somewhere that you can just hide. Oh, that's unbelievable. Um, there's always somewhere that you can just hide. Um, oh. the hit, some of the hit mechanics are a bit funny in the game. Yeah, there's always somewhere that you can hide. It's just not typically very fast, so usually we try to, you know, go a bit, um, be a bit riskier in order to save a bit of time. Uh, but yeah, yeah, something else that I think is worth mentioning that was just on display there. We don't really know how the hit mechanics work. <laughs> um, we've never been able to work it out properly. Um, we were always sort of under the impression that if you drive faster into someone, you'll damage them. But um, it doesn't always seem to work that way. Uh, and sometimes you can just sort of clip underneath people, uh, as I did there at the end. Uh, I fell underneath Clifford and he managed to knock me out. Mm. But yeah, if anybody is uh, any good at reverse engineering PS1 games, please let us know. Because <laughs> I would really like to know how it works. It would be very, very well appreciated. Uh, but yeah, this is a PS1 game and it actually looks really good for a PlayStation 1 game. <laughs> I mean, you can see the level loading in all the time, but you know, it still looks really good. I, I think what makes it sort of a stand the test of time is it's, it's got a, a real style to it. It's got a real like, artistic vision. Mm -hmm. So it's got, it's got lots of pop in, but it's not distracting at all. That is very true. Until you see Kermit's face right up to your face and then you're like oh that, that, that's <laughs> real creepy um, <laughs> the loading screens are insane <laughs> loading screens are very weird <laughs> they're so scary uh, we'll see one just now yeah we just get Kermit you know <laughs> uh, I, remember, I remember the first time streaming this game and that was Big, Her Big Haircut's comment to me was like what are those loading screens and I had just been completely desensitized to it you know, I played this game to death as a child, countless hours, I never even thought about it until so someone pointed out, I was like, actually, loading screens, kind of, kind of creepy. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. So, um, little this bit. is Arches, 
Um, if I had managed to win the Battle League, um, then we would have been automatically teleported here. Um, this is like the podium at the end, so if I go up here, you can see that star above me, that is the podium that I would have been on if I had been able to win. Um, <laughs> And so there's a couple of bonus levels in this game, not based on any of the movies. This is one of them. And it will be our last battle. Um, after this, we're going to do a few races, uh, a special battle race, Ooh. and then we'll be moving on to the stunts, which I am excited for. I really enjoy the stunts. Uh, I will say, honestly, I'm not terribly good at the stunts. Um, but they are a lot of fun, there's a lot of um, cool glitches that we can utilize. And um, I, I would recommend anybody to look up, if you've enjoyed watching the Muppets here today, I would encourage anyone to look up the stunt world record run, because it is phenomenal to watch. Like, it's oh, yeah. just, it's such a... I, I don't know if it's necessarily the most optimized category, but it's the most, it's a category that looks the best, I think. It's great visually to watch like a perfect stunt run in this game. Yeah, perfect stunts look just, they, they just look seamless. Like you're almost always holding accelerate the entire time. And it's like full on precision platforming that you're having to do. So holding accelerate the entire time uh, during precision platforming is just ridiculous. Uh, mm. it's, it's like pulling off a perfect run in Trackmania or something like that. So we just got the Swedish chef and Sam left to get. They're both on low health. There we go. So that is um, all the battles. Thank goodness. That is the part of the game, the part of the run that definitely takes the most time, especially if you lose a battle. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty risky. It's why I tend to do them first. Just saves on resets. But yeah, we're we're out of the battles and we're into a few races before I do the stunts. Just the little bonus ones. Here we are in Fraggle Rock, um, which was another Jim Henson property. Um, really good show. I really enjoyed it. Ooh. Yeah, uh, and we've got this phenomenal scat singing. If you can listen out for it, this is definitely one of the uh, one of the tracks uh, that just bops. Like the the music in this level Absolutely. just bops. Absolutely. I mean, I know it's like almost twelve bar blues ish, but you know, twelve bar blues is fun. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a classic. Hell yeah. I mean, that's why that's why it's its own sort of thing, 12 Bar Blues. So, um, uh, something you may notice me doing, um, I did it in my last lap there. When I jumped in the air, I... Whoop, when I jumped in the air, I fired a bomb. We recently found out that um, when you fire a weapon in this game, it alters your momentum ever so slightly. So we call it weapon turning. You can use it to take corners really tightly by pushing yourself just a little bit away from the wall to stop yourself from bonking without really giving up too much speed at all. But it also works vertically. If I fire a bomb up in the air, it'll push me down, spend less time in the air, uh, more time on the ground with a bit of traction. So, um, like all normal yeah. cars, you drive faster on the ground rather than the air. Mm. Uh. <laughs> One of the fundamentals of cars, I'm told. <laughs> um, I'm no expert though. <laughs> so, um, this is Disco, uh, which has the opening theme music as its music. Um, it's prob I think it is the longest race in the game, it takes about two minutes, and it is automatically a battle race, which means if I take a thousand damage, I will be knocked out and I will lose. Or for that matter, if anybody else takes a thousand damage. Um, you can unlock battle races for all the other races in the game. Um, which I, I think is a really cool mechanic. Um, part of the reason I put so much time into this game when I was younger. Um, but Disco is the only one that is automatically a battle race. You have to run it as a battle race. Um, Sorry to interrupt. You keep saying that you know this is why I played it so much as a kid, but you've probably played it more in the past like I six months than you ever that. have in your life. <laughs> yes, um, during the pandemic um, is when I started. Um, taking up this game to speedrun. Yeah, I've put in hundreds of hours since the start of the pandemic uh, speedrunning <laughs> this game. And uh, no regrets, it's been phenomenal. Um, if there's more donations, now would be a good time. It's going to take me a little bit to finish this level. 
Okay, wonderful. We do have $50 from Anonymous without a message, but thank you very much. We have another $50 Ooh. from Anonymous, uh, also without a message, but again, Ooh. thank you very much for that. We have $30 from Rogue Sully, uh, saying uh, there better be a Muppets Treasure Island level. And, oh, we have five <laughs> and we have $5 from a new Eller saying uh, 55,555 hype. So yeah, Ooh. let's get there. We are not even $600 away from that. So if wow. everyone can just chip in $5, we will squash that immediately. It's going to be a squish. <laughs> yeah, so please keep them coming. All right, thank you very much. Um, now we are on to the... Oops. We are onto the stunt levels. They have this sort of two and a half D perspective, a little bit like Little Big Planet. Um, you've seen there. That was the first proxy. Um, there's going to be a bunch of those. Um, for for sort of a licensed property kart racer made in the early 2000s, this game is full of content. There's so much to do, um, and the stunts are among I think probably the most creative ideas. I mean. Platforming in a in a car racer, I think, is such a cool idea. Definitely is a very unique idea. I don't think uh, anybody would look at Crash Tag Team Racing and be like, "Ooh, you know what we need? Platforming." Granted, they did do that in like the single player in that game, but uh, that wasn't while you were car racing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is platforming in cars. That's right, we go. You, you sound better from this, Zeev. <laughs> <laughs> like, what were they thinking? The idiots. <laughs> if you're not platforming in cars, I don't know what you're doing. I don't want to. <laughs> so, one of, one of the donations we're asking, uh, Green Ferret, is there going to be a Muppets Treasure Island track? Well, just as you said that, this is a Muppet Treasure Island track. This is Mountain. Um, but there will also be a race later on which is specifically called Treasure Island. So don't worry, there will be plenty of Treasure Island left to come. There's two tracks you're saying? Um, uh, there's three. Three tracks? I know. Um, <laughs> well, three left. Um, so well, this, Lagoon this that four. we did earlier is a Muppet Treasure Island level. This is Mountain, which is also a Muppet Treasure Island level. Um, we have a level just called Treasure Island and there's another one called Duck. Uh, which is a very interesting level, I think, speedrun-wise. Um, because currently the meta in that speedrun, in that level, is to basically avoid... Um, uh, avoid being specialed instead of just go fast. Mm. Which is controversial sometimes, in speedrunning communities. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you gotta go... Sometimes you gotta go slow to go fast. Sometimes you gotta um, go slow to go fast. Uh, didn't get the cannonless strategy. Um, oh, no ooh. cannonless. No cannonless, I'm afraid, today. Um, it is possible to skip that little animation there. I messed up that jump. <laughs> it's possible to skip that little animation there by just launching yourself off the side with a little bit of boost. Um, which we affectionately call cannonless. I think most of the strategies we have in this game have very, like, utility-based names. It's always like, wall skip. Uh, until recently, where we made a decision to come up with some cool names for different strategies. So when those come up, I'll, I'll let you know some of the, the fun names that we have. We actually have a couple of strategies named after our co-commentators today. Um, that Ooh. will appear later on. Oh, you, you guys are going to love it. You'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> we are moving also, on. We have, there's one named after you, I believe, Green Ferret. <laughs> or oh, is it more like a kind of lifestyle? <laughs> yes, um, there are, I've discovered, I think, two little, um, optimizations in this game. One, uh, I basically stole from a different level that someone came up with and it works the same. And um, we'll see that, it's called In Studio. Uh, I found a proxy in Mountain, which I attempted and missed. But, um, there is a trick, a notoriously difficult trick, that to date, Zeev is the only person to be able to achieve. It's called, and we call it a Zeebelieve because of that. And... One of my um, one of my viewers once asked me if I would attempt it. And I was like, "Yep, I'm gonna give it a go," and I didn't manage it. I will I will attempt it this run as well. Um, it doesn't say uh, it doesn't lose that much time if you don't get it right. But I attempted the run and I missed it, and I was like, "Ah, oh, no, Z believe." And someone said, "Only green believe today." So we now, whenever you mess the trick up, it's a green believe. Yeah. 
and the community really ran with that. People really enjoy that, yeah. <laughs> so it's not even like, you don't have to fail as he believe, you just have to fail. At, at this <laughs> point, yeah, it's, you mess up anything, <laughs> green believe. <Yeah. laughs> uh, next up, we've got Diner. This is one of my favorite stunts. When done optimally, when done properly, you basically don't let go of Accelerate, and you just have to hop the whole way through. Uh, I did not manage that there, but yeah, it's again. If you if you get the chance, watch watch a stunt run of this game because like they are phenomenal. I mean, honestly, if you get the chance, watch watch as many runs of this game as possible. Oh, absolutely, um, <laughs> that, that'd be great. Uh, but you know, uh, if you only got to watch one, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend. Yeah, definitely recommend the stunts. Stunts are very very weird and wacky and very different to other kart racing games. Uh, but yeah, this this stunt is basically over. <laughs> uh, and there we go. Moving on to the next stunt, Restaurant, which uh, has the best tune in the in the game. Well, I will agree. Really say it right there. Uh, best tune in the game. Yes, listen to that. Um... <laughs> So, the, a lot of the um, stunt levels, as you may have noticed, are um, basically cycle-based. So, at the moment, I'm just going to have to wait on a couple of lifts because not a faster way to do it. Um, donations would be good now while I'm waiting on the lift. Okay. We are... Well, I can uh, remind people that when they donate, for one, they can win prizes. Uh, we have two wonderful ViewSonic monitors um, from our sponsor, uh, the uh, ViewSonic Elite VX2705-2KP for a minimum of $35, or the ViewSonic Elix, uh, Elite XG270 with a minimum donation of $25. Both are really great uh, monitors. You can view them at prizes.esamarathon.com, uh, as well as all the other prizes that, uh, that we have. And um, yeah, get your donations in right now because we are still gunning for, well, the 55,000 for now, the 55,555 after that, but the grand total of $60,000 is our real goal because then you will all get Resident Evil Village at the end of this marathon. And you do want more marathon, don't you? So please keep those donations coming. Excellent, Ooh, thank you so much. Amazing. I would love to watch a Resident Evil run. I really enjoy Resident Evil runs. There we go. That that jump there at the end is always it always just feels so risky. I always feel like I'm just gonna fall down and have to do that section again. But here we go. Uh, we have yeah. one stunt left. Funfair. Uh, another cycle-based um, stunt. Would, would you like me to try and describe what a cycle-based thing is? Uh, please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, but so basically, as you know, as a as a consumer of this media, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. But cycle based, uh, you know, let's just pluck an idea from the air. It's sort of like waiting for a bus, you know. Mm -hmm. And you miss that bus. You're just going to need to wait for the next time that bus comes round on schedule. Um, very fitting metaphor that you know I just made up in the spot. Just picked out nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's, that's a really good description of what a cycle based is. But, you know, if, if you guys have a more kind of elegant way, elegant way of, you know, putting it, then by all means. I, I don't think I could sum it up any better than that. I think I think you've you've hit the nail on the head there. Thank you. I, mean, I, I think so too. It's kind of perfect. <laughs> <laughs> having to wait for this. Having to yeah, wait for this go, thing. Just a bit of waiting. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this strategy. Yes, it works. Hey, there you go. That's what we like to hear. We Sometimes you can move. bonk when trying to do that jump, but fortunately, did not happen yeah. this time. So last done. If that, Onto if that the platform is in the way, then you just smack into it. Is not fun. You lose all your momentum. <laughs> So uh, onto the bread and butter of the game. We're onto the onto the races. Um, now this this um, level's probably got the best speedrun strap, I would say, out of any of the races, because the finish line turns out does not extend the whole way along, so you can just sort of do this and just skip the entire race. Um, 
Zeev can speak about this as well. The day that trick was found, it saves about a minute in the main category of this game. And everyone oh, yeah. was up, everyone was streaming. It was like 3 a.m. for me, but I was like, world record is free at the moment. It was a great moment for the community. It was a really it was a really funny day, honestly. Uh, but yeah, that uh, the race, if you do it normally, is usually about a minute long. Uh, that was less than 10 seconds there, so... Uh, a little bit of a time save, a little bit. Just a touch. Every frame counts, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, oof. So what uh, Green Ferret will be going for now is uh, this level is uh, also has a big cycle in it, uh, which if he misses this cycle, then he, uh, you know, will lose roundabout five seconds but he made the first one won't be able to make the second one but that's fine uh and that is uh taking the elevator yeah uh, a lot of lifts in this game a lot of lifts there's a lot of lifts you've got pulley systems and elevators and a few other things which i can't remember but we got a lot we got a lot yeah um double lift is as we call it is the is the best um uh, the fastest way to complete this level, and it is like it is very close. You can only just scrape by doing it. Oh, oh, that's yeah. what. So one thing we hoped wouldn't happen is getting special like that. I was trying to save a little Ooh. bit of boost to um, get a star boost to avoid that. It didn't work out. But yeah, it's the Happiness Hotel. Probably one of the most optimized tracks. Um, the top three times are all 124 something. Um, just, just because it's basically a one lap race. You hit double lift and then you just gotta nail the last lap. Are they so, uh, on Central Park. Uh, a longer track, not really any tricks. It's a, it's quite an honest track, I'd say. You just gotta, just gotta drive optimally. Tight lines, uh, there's in-game shortcuts that you can take. So now would be a good time for any announcements as well. Wonderful, thank you very much. Let me please remind you uh, that we are raising money for Save the Children, who has delivered quality education to over 273 million children in the last decade, more than any other global development organization. Save the Children is transforming the way emergency care is delivered, putting a world-class team of health professionals to work for children anywhere in the world within 72 hours. And as I've been reminded by my lovely colleagues in the fundraising team, um, that Resident Evil Village run uh, that you might get if we reach the $60,000 is a redemption run. It, had, uh, it was supposed to happen earlier in the marathon, but Mother Nature um, made us have to mercy kill it. So we want to give Gidano another chance to show it off. So please get that, uh, get that money in so that he can show what he's got. Amazing, thank you so much. Keep those donations coming in, everybody. Exactly. As as Rick and as Ricky Martin would say, show me what you've got. Um, <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> that niche, was... niche reference for a niche game, I like it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think we peaked. Oh yeah. We've, we've, that's it. we've definitely Cancel peaked the there. Uh, <laughs> Show me what you've got. <laughs> so um, I'll speak a little bit about the car selection. You may have noticed that I've been using the same car uh, in every race. Um, it's the fastest one, which is why I do it. But the handling on this car is absolutely terrible. Uh, it takes corners so slowly. Um, and I think Big Haircut, as a casual player on Muppet Race Mania, I think you can attest, it is harder to control than you would think. Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, you make it look easy. You know, you're a professional, I can say that without it being too too weird. But you make it look easy, but when I was trying it, oh my god, it was kind of awful. <laughs> kind of awful. <laughs> so, some of the other cars have little, like some obviously are slower or are uh, have better handling. There is a cool little mechanic where there are... Cover the ball, Matt. There we go. Oh, no, that, no, that's, a, that's a hard skip to do there. That's a little backup for you. Oh, wow. Um, Honestly, yeah, I didn't even know about that. Have, um, better controlled <laughs> things, but there's a cool mechanic where there are cars that don't have any wheels, 
that just float across water, which will be very useful in the next level that we have up. Which will be, we, we won't be another treasure island now. <laughs> this donator's really getting their money's worth there. Eh? Mm. Lots, lots of treasure islands. For you. Yes. And for the kids. For the kids. Hmm. For the kids. So that's this is what I should have done that first time. Is um, fired um, a weapon at that crate. Sneak through there. You'll that you'll. Was, that was sick. See that is the first time you, you jump around that battle. I, I never knew that was possible. Yeah, yeah same. Was, um, I've been running this game for years. I didn't know you could do that. I, I very occasionally have to do that. It's a it's a rare backup that um, you need to have because usually you can pick up enough um, enough stars. But yeah, it's a nice little little neat trick you can do. Um, Guys, can I drop in quickly with an announcement? Oh please! Oh yeah, because we have reached the fifty-five thousand dollars. Yes! <laughs> Thank you very much for that. So our next goal, at least my next goal, is the quintuple five. So the fifty-five thousand five hundred fifty-five. Can we get that by the end of this run? I think you can do it, chat. So please, please, keep them coming. Yeah, we got this. Thank you. Hell yeah. And th thanks to everyone who's donating. That's, that's an absolutely phenomenal number to hear. So here we are in dock with a nice little sea shanty tune. Um, as I mentioned before, the way that we typically do this level is to try and get star boost twice. Um, just to avoid specials because there's just so much fruit, so much food around this level. That it, the RNG is too great to just try and go fast you gotta go slow to go fast basically exactly here you uh, can show off piggy mode if you want uh i think i will next lap show off piggy mode that's extremely fair <laughs> so um <laughs> this is piggy mode as we affectionately call it um is basically it steers for you it's an auto steer um uh obviously we don't use it that much but i use it here like that, just to make sure that I get all that fruit when I turn around that corner, because the, the amount of fruit you need to get double um, special, like, it's tight. Like, I think I need all of these. Yeah, I needed all of them to get it, so you gotta make sure you hit every single fruit there. Exactly. Because we want to be in that we want to be in that star boost right there, that mega star boost. To yeah, my way, Rizzo, big, big action time. In amongst it, <laughs> lapping all these guys. Oh. Was that a pretty good dock, actually? Yeah. And I have, last up, I have realized. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Oh no! I was just gonna say. Last up, we got um, Secret Base, the last race in League A. Well, I'm gonna do League B after this. Um, and it has one of the tricks that we decided to give a slightly better name. It has the Big Haircut Jump, named after Big Haircut, just because he really likes it. <laughs> That's me. It is you. <laughs> in the uh, flesh. So this, it was this jump that got me hooked onto this game. I mean, you know what, I, won't, I don't want to spoil it, I'll let you guys see for yourself. That was a... That if was Ferry a, can pull it off. Oh, that was so smooth. That was a decent one. I'll try and get I'll try and get a good looking one. Because the, the first lap one is never that good, because you have to break that vent. Um, and I should have mentioned this ages ago. If something has a target on it, it means you can blow it up with a weapon. Yeah, forgot to mention that. There's a lot of mechanics in this game that I just forget about because they're like second nature to me. Just throw fish at dartboards, it's gonna break. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make the rules. Yep. <laughs> just don't do that in real life, like throw fish at dartboards. Could, wouldn't recommend it. Only only in the world of the Muppets would you get away with that. Exactly. Or I'm at least have parents like supervision. Oh, of course. Oh yeah. You gotta have parents supervision before you throw fish. Um, a nice big haircut jump there. Yeah. Uh, get yeah, away yeah. from me. Yeah, really good big haircut jumps there. Ooh. So, um, as I mentioned before, if you win a league, you go to this screen, which is the um, the podium and all the podium levels you can do. So this is studio, very quick race, um, and the only skip that in this that uh, I found. It's basically the same as swamp skip that we saw earlier where you can drive on the outside and if you're touching this wall, you can cross the line but if you go around here, you're not touching it anymore uh, let me try that again <laughs> there we go oh, I've just messed this up a little bit, but it's okay guys 
That's okay. Let me. I've wasted a lot of time trying to do this. <laughs> would Would you believe I I did not win? I came fifth. I didn't even win. <laughs> oh my oh God. dear! That is the first time I've ever done that. I'm just going to do this this one normally now, just to guarantee. Hey, <laughs> hey! This has never happened before. I know. Uh... Only marathons. Only in marathons <laughs> do things like that happen, and it happens every time. <laughs> So this is the normal way of doing the level. This is how you would normally do it. <laughs> now, look at all these frames thing. that you're saving as well. I know, that's actually a, a little known technique. Uh, saves a couple of frames. <laughs> <laughs> couple frames just there we go. <laughs> so now we can move on to League B. Um, this, these will be the last six races. And we start in Ghost Town. Woo! Which has a cool skip in it. And that we call the... We used to call the Wall Skip. But we decided it needs a better name than that, so now we call it the G Town High Jump. Where you can't hold your own. Ah, oh, nearly. Um, that wall that I just sort of jumped at and hit, you can jump over if you get your boost just right. It's very difficult to do lap one, and quite difficult to do in lap two. But I'm going to see if I can get one for you. Um, this is another race where, because of the length of it, length of it, and because of the amount of fruit, um, we usually go for safer strategies. Try and get a um, star boost in the final lap just to avoid any specials. Oof. Every time I hear a chicken, it fills me with dread. <laughs> it haunts oh, my yeah. dreams, the sound of a chicken in these races. Yeah, the sounds of chickens are not fun. Um... Did a little bonk there, so didn't make that jump. We've got one more attempt at it. We, 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 let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it. You can get it. You can get it next time. It's all good. We got, this is why we got three laps. So, yeah. Got three goes at it. Exactly. The developers intended that people would fail the first two times, so that's when they went, we'll stick another lap on. We've got to. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, this uh, was I... all single lap races. Um... <laughs> Ooh. That's an early special, so I'm not going to be able to do the safe strap. Ooh. That is a G Town high jump. There you go. Um, hey, hey. I, I think it's, again, it's one of those tricks where I'm like, it looks like I'm speedrunning, rather than just playing this game quickly. I was like, that looks like a, that's a speedrun trick, that's a cool one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and it was beautiful, if you don't mind me saying. Oh, thank you very much. Kind of you to say. Do we have time for a donation, OT? Uh, yes we do. Wonderful. We do have $33 from Mr. Gamey saying it takes way too long to reach 55k, so let me fix that. Good luck, Green <laughs> Ferret. And we have $35 from Anonymous saying we've been just short of 55k too long. Let me fix that. Two fixes <laughs> that came in basically at the same time, so thank you very much for that. <laughs> Amazing, and thank you for the luck. So, this is Mallory Gallery. Again, got a very, got two very cool tricks, actually, I'd say. Um, at the start of the lap, there is the Z Believe. Um, Z, uh, I think you should do the honors to explain what that trick is. All right. So if you saw what uh, Green Ferret was doing just there, he went all the way around in order to uh, jump over, the, like jump past the stairs. I'm just gonna uh, show off. I like, just let him show off this clip. Uh, yep, yeah, that's a another, that's a clip that's in the this level. Very cool trick in the game in this level. That's the, exactly. Uh, but as you can see, he uh, jumps, he has to drive all the way to the other side of the stairs to jump down the stairs. The Z Believe allows you to basically use the stairs as a ramp and you can launch yourself over the barricade uh, and skip having to drive around. It saves about two seconds if you can hit it, um, but you know, it's... So, you know, you need to have the perfect lineup for it, and it's yeah. really odd. To date, um, Z Believe is the only person who has managed to do that trick, and you've only done it a handful of times. Oh yeah, like I—I I mean, I was even practicing it today, and like in a 45-minute session, I only managed to hit it once. So, yeah. you, you need—you need the perfect amount of boost and the perfect lineup. So um, you got—I'm um, afraid I didn't hit a Z Believe. Um, so I hit a Green Believe. One might say. Um, but I did manage to hit those clips, which were quite good. I like those. Oh no. So, uh, this is a very frustrating thing that happens sometimes. You can see on my screen that there is an arrow. And the arrow is pointing in the direction the game thinks you should go. When you get, um... When you get hit by... 
uh, a weapon or by a character or you get Goombad, um, you spin around a little bit and then you start pointing in the direction that Arrow thinks you should be going, which sometimes puts you in a very awkward position. Oof, I'm being bullied this level. Um, and so sometimes you end up just in the complete wrong direction, uh, which is very annoying and it'll take you a little second to autocorrect. Well, cor correct the autocorrect. Mm. Yeah, it's even worse in the PAL version because uh, if you bump into a wall in the PAL version, it will turn you towards the way that the arrow is going. But there is also no arrow in the PAL version, so you don't know which way it's going to turn you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so, very weird. It was an unfortunate um, New York City. Next up, we have Graveyard. And of course, to make a legitimate run, as we say in the community, you have to attempt Swag Strat. The reason we call it that is because if you get it right, it saves like half a second. If you get it wrong, it costs like two seconds. So let's have a go at it. Let's see if you can land it. Yes, there you go. That is Swag Strat. And then That's you jump this like little portal and it uh, teleports you down here. And honestly, uh, a pretty, pretty decent Swag Strat. That was a good Swag Strat, if, uh, if I do say so myself. Yeah. And then oh. all the rest of the laps, you can come up here and just fire uh, there to teleport to where Swagstrat usually jumps you. I like the use of teleports in this level, I think it's really, it's quite, um, it's quite a cool idea. Like, cause when I, when I was younger playing this game, I would have never come up with that. Oh yeah, it's a, it's very, it's very weird. You don't usually think that, uh, or at least in this game, teleporters usually don't help you that much. Uh, mm -hmm. There are a few teleporters in the game, just like in other races, and they are more of a hindrance than anything else. So next up, we have Treasure Island at last. I'm sorry it took this long to get here, but here we are on Treasure Island. Did you bring the map for the buried treasure? No, I brought a map for getting home. Oh! So um, again, this is a this is a fairly standard race. I'm um, just using the in-game shortcuts, no real speedrun tech. Um, so, uh, any donations? Oh, we do. We have twenty dollars from Gib34 saying, "I think these loading screens are the real Resident Evil. <laughs> the <laughs> RE run should still happen, though. Let's do this. Less than three, you all." And we have fifty-five dollars and fifty-five cents from our very own Nordic Soy saying mod ones fives. Here, take all the fives I can give. Here's to crushing even more fundraising records. Thank you very much for all of your generous donations. And we are now sitting at fifty-five thousand one hundred and eleven dollars. So four hundred forty-four more for that goal that I want to get really, really fast because. My shift is over after this run, and I want to meet that by the end of my shift, so please get those donations in. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Thank you everyone who's donating. Um, I love that comment. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the real Resident Evil. The real Resident Evil. <laughs> they are, they're spooky. They are <laughs> spooky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I believe those be loading screens... I believe those loading screens are paintings in uh, in the theater battle, actually. Uh, yes, they are. That's true. Well, yeah, I thought you were going to uh, Sorry, I thought you were going to see the paintings in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the Muppet Museum. <laughs> so Just imagine that, Cape Doom. This will be the last level, uh, the last track that I have to complete. So when I complete the third lap, that will be time. Uh, I'll give you another warning closer to that. So this features a notorious skip because usually we do this level at the end of runs, and just like ooh, we're doing I now, just managed it there. Um, so there's a couple of ways to mess that up. You can fall in the water, which takes about three seconds to recover from, but there's also dun 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 the hole of doom, as we like to call it, um, where on that wall that I sort of like glance off of. There is a hole that leads to the tunnel that you can see coming up on my right. If you go in there, it costs you like seven seconds. But hopefully, I'll be able to avoid it. Yes, dodging the Hole of Doom is the ultimate test in a game where there are a lot of weird things in it. I don't know where I was <laughs> going with that sentence. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's just because, like, usually Cape Doom is the last track that we do, and just a lot of, like, world record pace runs have just died to it. It's very unfortunate. Last one. Oh, that was very close to a hole of doom. 
Ooh. 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 Well, they just managed just it. Um, and it. Time is coming up very soon. It's going to come out when I come out of here in three, two, one, time. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, there we go. There we go. That is Muppet Race Mania All Tracks. Amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, thank you for ESA for having me. This has been it's been phenomenal. Uh, thanks to Zeev and Big Haircut for co-commentating. Zeev, I'm sorry it's so early in the morning for you. It's what five AM where you are at the moment. So thank you so yeah, much for doing this. Five thirty now. <laughs> um, and thanks to the Muppet community for finding all these cool tricks. Thank you, Green Ferret, for this awesome run, and of course, uh, thanks to both of your commentators because this was really, really well. Uh, well done, well commentated, I really enjoyed it, so thank you very much for that. We will be back after a quick intermission with uh, the next racing game. It's Super Mario Kart, and on hosting we will have Tiny Tim 78 so you will enjoy this. Keep watching, and we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. See you.